thanks again uh, for having us. I hope it's been an informative uh, debate. I, I appreciate the fact that it's been a bit more civil than the one last night, and uh, that's uh, more what I'm used to. Again, I'm a businessman. I'm used to getting things done. The uh, political climate um, right now disgusts me as much as it probably disgusts most of you. We need people in office that are used to working with others to get things done. I'm, I'm a doer, not a beer. I'm running for this office because I think we need people that will get, in, get to Madison, be a strong voice for this community, and get things done, and not just somebody that will be a senator that will toe the party line. I, I found it so ironic that throughout this process, I've been accused of being beholden to special interest, big money, yet it's Bob Warch's allies that have poured literally millions of dollars into this district trying to influence this race. If anybody is beholden to special interest, has big money behind them, it's Bob Warch, it's not me. And you all know that just based on the way this campaign has been has been run. One of the things I've been saying to people, and um, you know, I I, I want to leave you with this closing comment, is that if if you want politics as usual, if you want the divisiveness in this country that we've seen over the last few years, then Bob Wirtz is your guy. If you're if you say that we're tired of this politics as usual, we want people that are willing to unite this community that will bring us all together, then I would ask for your vote. I think, in my opinion, Bob Wirtz should be ashamed of the kind of campaign he's run. These are the mailers that you've all gotten. I have been, you know, despite what you might think, I don't have a private jet. I don't have a jet that has air stites on the side of it with my mug up there with the limousine. I don't even have a private label champagne or caviar or cigars. This is disgusting. This is what we've come to expect from politics. And, you know, I'm not whining. I know what I signed up for. Um, I am fine to take the attacks. I have a lot of peace about this. I wouldn't have made any decision, any different decision. But if this is what you want to see for the next year, going into 2012, then vote for Bob Wirtz. If you want to send a message to the special interest, big money unions, that this kind of stuff isn't going to work, then vote for me. I think it's a shame that when somebody that's a private citizen that has done their best um, to, to be a part of this community, to, to live life in an honorable way, wants to run for office, they get drugged through the mud. And I don't think it's the right thing. And unfortunately, um, you know, a lot of people's response is, well, that's politics. It's not the way politics should be, and it's not the way it needs to be. So I would appreciate your vote on August 16th. Thank you very much. Well, yes, my opponent is whining. Uh, he started this fight. He uh, started the recall out there. And now he complains uh, about free speech. Gee, he didn't complain about uh, Alberta Darling with those horrible ads against Sandy Pash. Oh, that's different. That's different. A Republican did that. Uh, so yes, he is whining out there. And quite frankly, I said last night, he's an attorney. He should sue the Republican Party for non-support. Because there is a free market of ideas. The Republican Party chose not to put money into his campaign. In fact, He's the biggest contributor to his own campaign. That says something out there. I have pages and pages of $5, $10, $15 donations out there. Uh, that says something out there. Now, he, he made another wild charge that um, I don't work across party lines. There's Republican Senator Van Wangard back there. We were both co-sponsors of the TIF bill. So there's a proof that I worked across party lines. We shook hands on the floor when we got that bill through. So in a partisan legislature, we set aside partisanship. We worked for business. Uh, so what he said is just simply not true. As far as he said, I towed the party line. Really? I fought Jim Doyle about an independent DNR secretary. Uh, I wanted to get the politics out of resource management. I was sticking with the hunters, the fishermen, the trappers, all the people that, that uh, take care of uh, our resources out there. That system worked for 60 years in this state until Tommy Thompson changed it. So towing the party line, I fought Jim Doyle on that issue. Jim Doyle was wrong. We have to bring it back to uh, the way it was 60 years ago. So I'm running on my record. I've delivered for business. I've delivered for, for the middle class. If you want empty campaign rhetoric, if you think that corporations are underrepresented in Madison, uh, then vote for my opponent. 
I think that the middle class needs a champion. I've done it for years. I've fought for the disabled, the elderly, uh, workers out there. I'm proud of my record. There's a clear distinction, and I hope I can get your vote on Tuesday. Thank you.